What's up, BD guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start today's day. The reason I'm dressed, wearing this coat, which you might have seen me wearing in other videos also previously. I'm going to an event today, kind of a special event for someone who's looking out for a career into logistics. Also, at the place where I'm going, it's a building where SoundCloud offices, all the top-notch companies and my first internship that's the building where i did i'm going to show you it's a pretty famous building it's called as factory berlin my only aim is to go there show you guys how i do networking what are the important aspects which i have learned it very practically but yeah i don't want to give out much now let's start the day today let's go make some connections, share some business cards. I'm also going to be talking about, I've done this video uh, previously also that how I network usually, but what is the main root of visiting such events? The whole point of visiting such events is to make a healthy long-term relationship. It's an investment of time, nothing happens on day one or nothing's going to happen tomorrow, but this is what I'm looking out for. Stay in touch, make some connections, and probably in the future, if something is relevant to me, I can use them for my business and I can contribute to their business as a form of value. Let's go. Oh God. A lot of people are going to get down here. Alexander Plus is main stop. This is the nearest stop to Factory Berlin, which is in the Mitte, which is in the city center. This is where SoundCloud offices we have reached. So I've reached here. That's factory. This is a building which changed my career. This is where I had my first internship. This is where office of SoundCloud is and a lot of other massive companies which have come out. This is where the real startup scene is happening inside. I've come back here after such a long time. Um, yeah. So the event is about logistics. So the event name is Reimagining Logistics. It is conducted by two major companies. One of them I know by name because they are the giants and the leaders in the industry of logistics which is the Biomer Group and the other one is Beam. I'm really looking forward to talk to Dr. Christoph who is the chairman of this company. This is a company. I've got this name tag which I'm going to put it here. Like that. So, first thing, they always have a rack for jackets. As soon as you're in the networking event, is set your agenda. What are you here for? Let me show you right now. The event is about to start now. Reimagining logistics. So they have free Wi-Fi connection on the wall so that people can use the hashtag and the, and the free drinks bar here. I would like to point out two things. They don't like they want they like to play game of game of thrones and not, uh, not not come together and come up with a solution together. So I think it's very, very unlikely that this thing will happen on its own, and a company such as Hermes is rumored to be for sale, on sale, right? Which is also tells you something about the industry. Right, I didn't do the job of introducing you, so I would, I would like you to introduce yourself. Tell us something about you, about your company, that's especially relevant for Fabian, I believe, and also maybe a fun fact about you. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm uh, in a family business. I'm with the business since 55 years. I get paid for it since 30 years. So um, we are a family business uh, dealing with intralogistics. We are a system provider. We're doing machines, products. Uh, transporting any goods from A to B and uh, yeah some facts about me my favorite beer brand is Yiva yeah if it's too bitter for you you are too sweet for this beer and uh, we, we discussed already about soccer clubs and here is my 
ultimate outing, I'm supporting Schalke 04. I know that this is not the best story to tell in Berlin, but you won 2-0 uh, in Schalke and we left the points with you. I have uh, two great kids. Uh, I'm married since uh, 21 year and uh, my kids are 20 and 18. You see everything's in sequence. And I have uh, some more years to go until I retire. As I said, I'm 54, 55 years old. And the good thing about this is you all keep me a little bit younger than I'm really am. So I'm really enjoying to be here again after last year's uh, takeoff and I'm looking forward to a great event tonight. Um, basically, we are asking the question why we still produce in the same way like Ford invented 100 years ago, even though the car looks or the product looks so much different. Was 100 years ago one, one product? Guys, so I'm joined here by Dr. Christoph. Sir, it's a pleasure to meet you. I heard a great talk. I couldn't capture the whole discussion which was going on on the stage. It was very interesting to know more about uh, logistics and, and your company started in 1935 in North Rhine, Westphalia. And I'm pretty much impressed with the way you have survived in this disruptive world now. Being a logistics incumbent, how are you managing with the disruptions which are happening in the startup world now? Well, disruptions uh, are only disruptive if other people do it. Our way is that we say, if someone is inventing disruptive technologies, mm -hmm. it's better us than others. And therefore, we founded a company builder here in Berlin in the uh, startup ecosystem. And the target for this uh, startup is to make our company obsolete. And uh, if they succeed, yeah. the 4,200 people working today for our company, yeah. hopefully in future, are working for this startup here in Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> My next question to you, which more segues into uh, for students. I, I have a lot of student followers who would aspire to be in the logistics and supply chain industry. Uh, sitting here with a leader, uh, I want to ask you how is the industry and what's coming in next 10, 20 years? Uh, I cannot tell you what comes in the next 10, 20 years because the uh, world is changing so dramatically fast. Yeah. I heard a great saying uh, the last days. People say it's so fast these days. Someone said it will never ever be so cool and cozy and lazy as it is today. And I think there is a lot of truth in it. Uh, I have no clue what at the end happens in logistics. Yeah. The only thing is, students as well as we as companies, we need to be prepared and to be open for change. And uh, this is what I try to convince people of, be open and not being static, because things are changing, logistics is changing dramatically. Yeah. Yeah? So we had globalization and everybody said, ah, oh, we have the big globe as a, uh, as a trade uh, and we can trade all over the globe. Yeah, now we see with protectionism yeah. in the US, we see with Brexit, we see with other areas mm -hmm. that globalization is in a different way. So we talk about globalization 2.0. Oh, yeah. It will definitely have influence on logistics. Be prepared. Absolutely. Sir, uh, it was a pleasure to have you here on my channel. Thank you. Um, thanks a lot, sir. Thank thanks you. Sir, cool. www.boimer.com Oh, absolutely. Dad, <laughs> he wants to tag his company. <laughs> We got his business card also. Um, I think we're gonna end this video. Let's go outside. Oh, okay. So 
I think the takeaway of the video is um, just go out and talk to people. Um, sitting home is definitely not going to do anything or reading 10,000 articles or or ah, case studies. Okay, case mm -hmm. study. Um, reading case studies, well, you will definitely gain knowledge, but having a real experience, being able to go and meet people, shake their hands, and, and I think you guys should do it. Um, well, over the course of time, I'm going to make more and more videos. I'm going to be getting more people on my channel to talk about certain industry specifically. But yeah, that's for a little later. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button, and let's see you guys next time. Bye bye.